This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now then, you may recall, last weekend I put up a, a video about a chord sequence, which is particularly nice to solo over, because as long as you stay in key, it's very complimentary to pretty much anything that you do over the top of it. Well, I've got another one for you this week. Um, this is again another chord sequence which has been used countless times by many songwriters and composers because it's such a great thing to uh, either write a melody on top of or play a solo on top of. Uh, last week's uh, chord sequence was based around a sweet kind of uh, melodic major key, major tonality kind of vibe. This week we're looking at the darker cousin. This is more of a minor key uh, thing going on. As always, uh, here's the solo and then a brief explanation explanation of what's going on in the chord sequence and what I'm playing over the top of it. Here it is. Okay, as was the case with the solo I put up last week, um, it's not really the solo that's uh, doing the heavy lifting here in terms of making it sound good, it's the chord sequence. So let's have a look at that first of all. Uh, we have uh, a D minor chord. And there, as you can see on screen, next it goes to a C sharp augmented. Then we go to uh, an F chord but I'm using the C note, the fifth of the F chord as the bass note here. Then we're gonna to go to a G chord, but I'm gonna use the, the third of the G chord, the B note as the bass note. Then to a B flat chord. Then to an F chord again. This time I'm using the third of the chord, the A note as the bass note. Then down to a G minor chord and then a C sharp diminished seventh, which leads us nicely back to the beginning again on the D minor. Okay, so what's kind of cool about that is that you're getting this chromatic uh, descending bass line from the D in the D minor chord to the C sharp, in the C sharp augmented to the C, in the F chord to the B in the G chord, to the B flat in the B flat chord, to the uh, A in the F chord, and then we just have a like a rather than a semitone interval there, we go down a whole tone to the G in the G minor, and then we ascend again via a tritone from the G to the C sharp uh, for the C sharp diminished seventh. So you get this kind of deal. And it's just such a powerful um, 
cool sounding chord sequence that whatever you do over the top of it is pretty much bound to sound good. So what can you do over the top of it? Well, the simplest solution is just to sit on all of your uh, favourite comfortable little D minor pentatonic licks. <laughs> And I do a fair amount of that in the solo, but I'm also just thinking in terms of landing on uh, strong notes from the chords. For instance, when it goes from the D minor down to the C sharp augmented, there's plenty of times where I'm just kind of landing on the C sharp note there. And some in some cases, I kind of track that chromatic thing down, uh, you know, D down to C sharp, C, D, and so on. Um, I also like to throw in a couple of little um, G major references when we hit that, uh, you know, D minor to C sharp augmented F over C to the G over B bass. Uh, for me, that's always a really kind of powerful uh, part of the chord sequence to exploit, you know, so you'll get... up into like a little G major pentatonic thing there like that. And um, it just tends to stand out nicely and, and sound cool. So where are these chords coming from then? Well, uh, basically here are a selection of keys from where you can draw a D minor chord. And what we're basically going to be doing is moving between them. You can see you've got the D Aeolian mode there, which is the key of D natural minor. Uh, the D Dorian mode there, which is essentially the key of C major, but you're, you're skewing it round to the D minor chord tonality. And then there's the D harmonic minor key there, which is, uh, I did a video about harmonic minors a little while ago, so I'll stick a link to that in the description if you want to know what that is. Um, so the um, I'm basically just kind of weaving a path through those keys. For instance, D minor, obviously that's common to all of the keys there, but the uh, C sharp augmented, uh, you can't see one in there, but there is the F augmented. Here's the thing about augmented chords. All of the notes in an augmented chord are all four frets apart, okay? The C sharp, F, and A notes, and then back to C sharp in that C sharp augmented chord. If I move that chord up four frets, one, two, three, four, it's got now F, A, C sharp, and F. If I move it up another four frets, one, two, three, four, I've now got um, A, C sharp, F, and A. So in effect, an F augmented is a C sharp augmented is the same thing as an A augmented. They're interchangeable. It's, it's really defined by what the bass note is doing underneath. And in this case, the bass note was playing a C sharp underneath it. So I'm thinking of it as a, as a C sharp augmented. Then the F chord, that F chord with the C bass, that's in all of the keys there. Then the G chord with the B bass, a G major chord essentially. You can see that's in the uh, Dorian mode. And then B flat, well that's in the harmonic minor and the Aeolian mode. The F over the A bass, well, anywhere there's an F chord, which is in all, uh, well, what's in the uh, Dorian and the uh, Aeolian modes there. We can say that that's coming from either of those. Uh, then G minor, well that's in the uh, Aeolian mode and the harmonic minor and the C sharp uh, diminished seventh is in the harmonic minor so it's just kind of doing a, a form of modal interchange really or borrowed chords or anything you want to call it um, where you're kind of weaving in and out of the different keys which all contain that core tonality chord of D minor and it's done in such a way here as you get that lovely chromatic descending uh, bass line there which is sort of what makes it um, sounds so cool and characterizes it and as i say over the top of it you can just sit on a d minor pentatonic and then just um you know kind of land on any appropriate strong chord note or uh you know chord lick like when i did the uh, the g major lick over the g chord and stuff you can do anything um of that ilk over it and as long as you can keep track of where you are over the uh, chord sequence you know which chord you're landing on at any given point then it's pretty easy to sound uh, pretty cool over the top of it so there you go there's another one for you to try 
So there you have it. Now this week I'm a little bit organised. I've already got that solo tabbed out and it's already up on my Patreon page right now. There's the address if you want to go and check it out. It's only $3 a month and you get all of the uh, additional resources for these little YouTube lessons that I put out. Um, up on the Patreon page you can get the, uh, as I say, the solo tabbed out. It's there in Guitar Pro and PDF formats. You also get the uh, jam track to play along with and you also get that little clip of uh, me demonstrating and explaining that you've just seen right there and that's pretty much all i've got for you today folks hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful if you have please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and why not give me a like while you're at it if you're interested in supporting the channel thank you in advance as i say you can join the patreon or you can follow any of the links downstairs in the description box to any of the other ways that you can support the channel much appreciated if you do that thank you in advance and with that i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you for watching thank you so much for your time i look forward to seeing you all again next time around stay well folks stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now <laughs>